hi everyone and welcome to your channel in this video we are going to locally install this newly released model called as fusion guide fusion guide is an advanced ai reasoning system built on mistral nemo 12 billion architecture model this new model employs a two model approach to enhance its problem solving capabilities this method involves a guide model that generates a structured step-by-step -step plan to solve a given task. This plan is then passed to the primary response model, which uses this guidance to craft an accurate and comprehensive response. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will play around with it. Especially, I'm going to use it to count the characters in few of the words, which we know that most of the time many of the models fail that test where for example we ask it to count the number of letters in or number of times letter r appeared in the word strawberry or letter l appear in the word volleyball so we are going to try out these things in the fusion guide before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video they are running this hack 2024 these days so if you want to participate and win $100 in free GPU compute credit, you can generate a text story with LLM or generate an image with LLM or both and send your entries in this Hacktober. I will be one of the judge and I'm looking forward to your entries. Okay, and I will drop the link to that their website in video description for sure. So coming back to this Fusion model. Now, Fusion Guide is a fine tuned on a custom data set, by the way, consisting of task based prompts in both English and German. English is 90%, German is just 10%. The tasks vary in complexity, including scenarios designed to be challenging or unsolvable to enhance the model's ability to handle ambiguous situations. So let's go and try to get this thing installed. Now I will be using Unsloth to get this installed. If you don't know what Unsloth is, please search my channel. I have done heaps of videos on Unsloth. It is a very quick inference library, which uses the model in a very, very efficient way. Okay, so you can see that I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card in VDRTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM, courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a Conda environment. I'm just calling it Unsloth environment with Python 3.11 and I'm installing CUDA and VDX formats and a lot of stuff with it. So let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take a couple of minutes. So Conda environment is created. Next up, let's activate this Conda environment. And that is done as you can see on the left hand side in the parenthesis and I have cleared the screen. Next up, let's install some of the prerequisites which are needed, which include unsloth. Sorry, not this one. My copy paste always has this problem. So let me remove it and then paste here again. Yeah, much better. So I'm installing transformer and a lot of stuff from the source and also the unsloth as you can see in the line number three. So let's wait for it to finish installing. All the prerequisites are done. Next up, let's install and launch our Jupyter Notebook so that we could install and run our uh, model in the browser environment. So let's wait for it to get launched. And the browser environment is launched. Let's uh, download our model first and we are importing the unsloth and then we will do the inference once that's done. And the model is being downloaded and as you can see if you have a lesser vram maybe you can set it to true but because we are not using the contest version so i have set it to false and that is why we are not loading it in 4-bit and we are just setting it to the default data type so let's wait for it to finish downloading and then we will proceed further with the inference and you can see that there are five shards of it and the size is just around 5 gig, gig for it. So make sure you have around 25 to 26 gig available on your hard disk. So fourth shard is being done. And as I was mentioning earlier, if you want to learn more about Unsloth, you can just search with Unsloth on my channel and you will see that I have done 
hundreds of videos on Unsloth in the last one year. And I have also interviewed the creator of it. And another thing I wanted to introduce you to is the sponsors of this video, which are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language uh, for extracting extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. You can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. AgentQL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. Okay, let's go back and check what is happening with our download. And it seems that the download is almost done. And the download, as you can see, is almost done. It is also showing you the whole architecture of model. And as I mentioned earlier, it is based on this Mistral Nemo. And it is showing you all the layers and head and other stuff, the projection mechanism. Okay, so this is where the things get a bit interesting. Let me make it fit on one screen. I'll just uh, maybe make it fit on two screens. So if you look at the guidance prompt, what this says is that count the number of R's in the word strawberry and then write a Python script that checks if an arbitrary word con contains the same number of R's. And then we are just creating a prompt template message on top of it. We are using tokenizer to convert that text into tokens. And then we are asking the model to generate the output. And then with some of the hyperparameters, we are not asking to do, to do any creativity. We just wanted to do whatever what we are asking it to do and then we are uh, using tokenizer to decode the output of model back to the text and then printing it out so let me run it and there you go so response is there let's see if it is able to count the r's in strawberry so if you look at this it is going through chain of thought so step one is the goal count the number of r's in word strawberry so key points to cover, identify the word strawberry in the tar as a target word, determine the number of R's by examining each character in the word. The word strawberry contains three R's, one in straw, one in berry, and one in RY. Separate section uh, in the final answer. So it is a full template step to write a Python script. And there you go. Very, very nice. So it is just going on and on. And then goal by goal, step by step, it is covering it. So really cool. Now, it hasn't given us a Python script which we can use with another model to generate. But if you really look at it, it has really given us the correct answer in a very, very fine way. So it says contains three R's, one in straw, one in berry, and one in RY. Amazing stuff. Very, very nice stuff. So that is good. Let's try out another one. And I'm just going to replace this prompt with this. Now in this one, I'm asking it, count the number of P's in the word perpendicular and then write a, maybe we can ask it Python script or JavaScript, how about that? Let's see if it can do it or not. That checks if an arbitrary word con contains the same number of P's. There you go. Let's wait for it to come back. And one thing I have noticed with the inference of this model is that it takes its sweet time, around one minute. To come back with the answer so uh, let's be uh, patient meanwhile as it works let's also quickly check the vram usage so let's do it's not exact science but will give you a rough idea it is using around i would say 25 gig of vram so make sure that you have around that much vram or higher so there you go so again step one and it is saying that it, it has uh, three piece where it has just two piece you see and and this time it hasn't even give us given us a javascript or anything else like this no it has actually it has given us some of the counter there but the answer is wrong here at least it got the strawberry one right okay let's try out one more now in the next test i'm asking it Count the number of S in word succession and then write a Python script that checks if an arbitrary word contains the same number of S's. Let's see what it does here. So it has given us the response. Let's check it out. 
So it says three S's, the response is correct here. Very nice. And then it has given us the synopsis what it needs to do in order to create the function. And of course, I think you can use any coding function to use that prompt in order to generate that. Cool. So let's try to confuse the model. Now in this next one, I'm asking it, count the number of Fs in the word dedication and then write a Python script that checks if an arbitrary word contains the same number of Fs. Of course, there is no F here. So let's see what model does in this case. Should be fun to watch. So the model has come back with the response. So it says, the word dedication contains one F. So you see, model got confused. Now, the key points to cover were identify the word dedication and focus on letter F. Examine each letter of the word to determine presence of F. Count each. And then uh, it was unable to do so. I don't know where it got the F from. We don't see it in this reasoning here. And then it is just telling uh, the pseudocode sort of for the F. Okay, and it is just taking that mistake further, you see, it is saying which is one, which is not. So it means that if first um, step is wrong, it will propagate to the next steps. But anyway, I think um, still, I would say decent enough where it was able to detect at least R's in strawberry and the succession one. Interesting model, good to see that efforts are being made to solve this really uh, burning issue in the universe that, you know, uh, models can't count as in strawberry so that's it i will drop the link to this model in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching